Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is gonna show you how to fix iPad unavailable try again in 8 hours. You might be confused when you first see the iPad unavailable or security lockout try again in 8 hours message. What is it? Why is my iPad locked for 8 hours? What should I do to fix an iPad that says iPad unavailable try again in 8 hours? Worry not. Keep watching this video and you'll know all the answers. What does it mean? It means that your iPad is temporarily locked for 8 hours, where you can't try the passcode or access the data as usual. When a wrong passcode is entered on an iPad too many times, it'll become disabled and show you the unavailable or security lockout message. Depending on how many times the passcode is entered incorrectly, iPad will get locked out for 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour, and 3 hours. After entering 9 wrong passcode in a row, the screen says iPad security lockout and try again in 8 hours. What makes you locked out of an iPad that says iPad unavailable for 15 minutes? Attempting wrong passcode too many times. Maybe you forgot the passcode and try the incorrect passcode in a row. Perhaps someone else makes wrong entries continuously. Whatever, it triggers Apple's security lock and finally the screen ends up showing iPad security lockout try again in 8 hours message. Firmware bugs. After restoring from backups, updating the iOS software, or doing a reset, your iPad turns on but tells you that it's unavailable and try back in 8 hours. Broken touch screen. For example, you get an 8 hour security lockout iPad after dropping it or getting it into water. Other unknown reasons. You didn't enter any wrong passcode but you have a message that says security lockout 8 hours on your iPad. How to fix iPad that is unavailable for 8 hours? Well, there are two solutions. If you still remember the right passcode, wait 8 hours patiently as prompted. It'll give you the option to enter the right passcode again to unlock unavailable iPad after 8 hours. In this way, you can fix unavailable iPad and get past the 8 hour timer without losing any data. If you forgot the passcode, you have no alternative but to factory reset your iPad. There may be three ways to reset an unavailable iPad that says try again in 8 hours. Way 1, try erase iPad function. Way 2, try find my feature. Way 3, try recovery mode method. Now, let me show you how to do that step by step. Way 1, try erase iPad function. Whether you are using an iPad, iPad mini, iPad Air, or iPad Pro, Apple gives you an erase iPad button to unlock an iPad when it's locked if you forgot the passcode. The requirements are that your iPad has been connected to a network and you still remember the Apple ID password. If you do, follow these steps to try unlocking an unavailable iPad that has been locked for 8 hours. Tap the erase iPad button. On the next screen, tap the erase iPad button again. Type the password for the Apple ID logged into your locked iPad to continue. Next, tap the erase option to permanently delete all of your data and settings to unlock the iPad. iPad will turn off, show the Apple logo, and pop up the progress bar. When the bar reaches the end, the tablet will turn on automatically. When you see the hello screen, it means that the iPad stops showing unavailable 8 hours screen. Now, follow the on-screen instructions to set up your iPad. If you have backups in iCloud, in iTunes or Finder, you can restore your data and settings from a backup in the Data and Apps screen. After finishing the setup process, you will enable the home screen again to use it as normal. Way to try find my feature. Can't see the erase iPad button? It's okay. There's another way to unlock the iPad that says iPad unavailable try again in 8 hours with Apple ID and password. And you can do it on a phone, a tablet, or a computer where you have access to a browser. Now, open any browser and go to iCloud.com. Log in with Apple ID and password. Make sure that the Apple ID is the one that you use to sign into your locked iPad iCloud. If asked, enter the two-factor verification code. Once entered the iCloud homepage, scroll down and click the green Find My icon. Enter your Apple ID password again if asked. In the middle top of the page, choose the All Devices option. In the drop-down menu, choose the name of the unavailable iPad. Then, choose the Erase iPad option. When asked, choose Erase again to confirm. A few seconds later, it'll start erasing the data and settings on the iPad that says iPad Security Lockout Try Again in 8 hours. And install the latest iPodos software into the tablet. When you see the Hello screen, quickly set up the iPad to use it as a brand new iPad. Way 3, Try Recovery Mode Method. 
Recovery mode is a function introduced by Apple to fix iOS system issues. And iPad users also can use it to get iPad out of 8 hours unavailable screen safely. Here, you'll need a Windows computer or a Mac computer. If you don't own a computer, then you will have to use a computer from a friend, a relative, a public library, or a computer store. Okay, first of all, download iTunes or Finder on your computer and run the software. Use an Apple USB cable to connect your iPad to the computer. Then, put your iPad into recovery mode. The steps to enter recovery mode may vary depending on the models. In an iPad with a home button like me, press and hold both the home button and top power button until you see the recovery mode screen. In an iPad without a home button, quickly press the release volume up button and volume down button and then press and hold the top power button. You can pause the video and follow the instructions on the screen to go into recovery mode. You can try a few more times if you can't get into the mode. Okay, my iPad is in recovery mode now. A black screen shows a laptop and a cable. Now, go back to iTunes or Finder window. There should be a dialog box popping up. Choose the restore option. It'll reset your unavailable iPad to bypass the try again in 8 hours message without a passcode. Select restore and update option. Follow what iTunes or Finder asks you to do. And all that's left to do to wait for iTunes or Finder to erase iPad data and settings. When you see the hello screen, your iPad is unlocked and gets back to normal status. Quickly set up your iPad and use it again. Now, your iPad will no longer say unavailable or security lockout try again in 8 hours. Here comes the FAQ part. How long does it take for iPad unavailable to go away? If your iPad says iPad is unavailable or in security lockout for 8 hours, then the screen will take 8 hours to go away. If you only see iPad unavailable message but don't see a timer, the iPad unavailable will not go away unless you bring it back to its factory settings. Why is my iPad unavailable timer not going down but stuck at 8 hours? Maybe it's a system bug. Perhaps you don't insert a SIM card. You can try to insert the SIM card and force restart the iPad. If the issue remains, just try the ways above to fix it. Thanks for watching this video. That's what to do when your iPad says iPad unavailable or security lockout dry again in 3 hours. Hope this video can help you get off the iPad security lockout screen and unlock the tablet to make your work and life back to normal. If this video helps, please give it a thumbs up, comment below to let us know which method helps, and share it on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, etc. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any other questions. Be sure to subscribe Byte Further channel to learn more tech tips about iPhone and iPad, and click another video on the screen to keep watching.